Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this brief presentation about the homestead classification. I'm Cook County Assessor Bob Thompson. Today I'll be talking about the homestead classification and what benefits you'll receive classified as that. The first is that you will receive a lower classification rate on the first $500,000 of market value. You have a potential for a market value exclusion. Most Cook County residents will receive a taconite credit. And then there's a potential for two types of property tax refunds, which I will explain later. Before I get into the presentation, I want to point out that it is required that you apply for the homestead classification. You can find the homestead application on our website. If you navigate to the top and scroll to different departments, you can select the assessors tab. And from there on the left hand side, you'll see information related to the homestead classification. The application is there on the main page, and it's important to note that these applications often change, so it's important to use the most revised version, which currently is from July of 2021. The most current version will be available on the assessors tab if there is a change to the application. So getting into the classification rate, this chart is the four main residential classifications. So Class 1A residential homestead receives a lower rate on the first $500,000 of market value. It does pay into the referendum market value tax. This is the voter approved referenda, such as the schools and hospitals, and this property does not pay into the state general tax. The Class 4B1 residential non-homestead pays a higher classification rate on the first, on all value at one and a quarter percent. This property also pays into the referenda approved market value tax, and it is not subject to the state general tax. Lastly, we have the class 4C12, which is seasonal recreational non-commercial. This is typically thought of or known as a cabin. This property pays the same rate as a homestead on the first $500,000 of value for the local tax capacity. It does not pay into the referenda approved market tax but it also does pay into the state general tax. So this is a simple calculation of how you can reach your, your property tax bill. The a hypothetical $100,000 property with a class rate of 1%, paying a hypothetical tax rate of three quarters of 1% would then end up with a tax bill of $750. So next, there's the potential for a market value exclusion. This exclusion was set up by the state legislature, and it excludes from 40% of value up to $76,000. And then any amount over $76,000 is reduced at a 9% rate. Effectively, once you hit $413,800 of value, there is no exclusion from, for the homestead. So if a property was valued at $76,000, you would reduce the, the market value by $30,400, resulting in a taxable market value of $45,600 as a homestead property. There you can see it's at the peak of this index. So on a hypothetical $100,000 property, you reduce the rate by 9% of the value over $76,000, which is $24,000. 9% of that is 2160. So you take the maximum exclusion and reduce it by 2160, resulting in a market value exclusion of $28,240. This property has a taxable market value of $71,760. So there you can see this falls in the chart right at $100,000 and it was excluding about $28,000 of value. So now if we take that classification rate with the new taxable market value based on the exclusion, you can see with that three quarter percent tax rate, the tax bill is now reduced from 750 down to $538.20. So, if your property value is $413,800 or more, there is no exclusion. You can see that 9% of the value over $76,000 at $413,800 amounts to no exclusion. There you can see that's the bottom of the index. 
So on this property tax statement, I wanted to show this example where many taxpayers will see that their market value exclusion has been eliminated. And this is due to the property value exceeding $413,800. So this property did not lose its homestead classification. It, it lost its market value exclusion. You can see here towards the center of the page, the homestead is still applied for the 2022 assessment. Next, you may receive a taconite credit. This was set up by the state legislature back in 1977. Um, a township where taconite is mined or quarried or where there's a taconite concentrating plant, you receive 66% reduction to your tax bill with a maximum reduction amount of $315. If you are located in a school district where the boundaries are within 20 miles of a taconite mine or plant, you receive a 57% reduction to your tax bill with a maximum reduction amount of $289.80. This is a map of the taconite assistance area in Northern Minnesota. So with your taconite credit, that $538 tax bill is hypothetically reduced by $289, resulting in a final tax bill on that $100,000 homestead of $293.40. Now, the potential for the two types of property tax refund, this is administered by the state of Minnesota. You can find information and the application on the Department of Revenue's website. And since these links will not work, I will put these links in the description below the video on the assessor's webpage and on our YouTube page. This credit is applied for on the M1PR form, which I will also include a link. There are two types of refunds that you can apply for. The first is the regular refund. This is if you owned and lived in your home on January 2nd of 2022, and your household income for 21 was less than $119,790. The special refund is if you owned and lived in the same home for both January 2nd, 21 and January 2nd, 2022, and your home's net property tax increased by more than 12% over those years. The net property tax increase had to be at least $100. And if the increase was not due to new construction or new improvements that you've made to the property. In this example, you can see at the bottom of the page, this is indicating if the assessor has noted new improvements or new market value. So if you have any questions, you can certainly reach out to the Cook County Assessor's Office. We'd be happy to try and answer your questions. Our number is 218-387-3650. Thank you.